आफ्ताब्स फैमिली न्यू दैट देर वॉज वायलेंस गोइंग ऑन मे बी इवन ड्रग स्मगलिंग मे बी इवन ड्रग इन टेक मे बी इवन वेमनाइजिंग मे बी इट्स कमिंग इमर्जिंग वॉट काइंड ऑफ मैन डिड दे प्रोड्यूस वॉट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स ऑफ द बॉय आई थिंक टर्मेंडसली नेग्लिजेंट वी आर ऑलवेज टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्रूमिंग ऑफ द गर्ल्स वॉट अबाउट द ब्रूविंग ऑफ द बॉयज वाई कैन दे बी ब्रूम्ड if they misbehave like that when they grow there's a predictive relationship between alcoholism drug abuse and domestic violence we could have remained a vigilant a, a, a fourth pillar of the government had we not gone political we could have remained that's how we were envisaging okay. that would remain an independent non political force which would speak up of corruption anywhere say if i were chief minister yes. please i would have stopped first of all that smoking coming from punjab i find the current prime minister highly result oriented truly karm yogi if every bureaucrat whatever the responsibility is karm yogi walking the street smelling feeling hearing seeing correcting hands on even for hour a day india would be different in next 4 5 years Namaste Jai Hind welcome to another edition of ANI podcast with Smita Prakash He strangled her to death and then chopped her body into several parts He stuffed those body parts inside a refrigerator He put her head into the freezer compartment and then one by one he started disposing of those dozens of body parts in the jungle When the body parts started smelling he would light an agarbatti He brought other women friends into the house for months no one figured out till a friend got suspicious aftab is in custody shraddha's family and friends have to come to term with the fact that all her body parts may never be found there is no closure for families who have lost a loved one in such a horrific manner indians are transfixed about the horror story of aftab punawala and shraddha walker Soon after the Shraddha Walker episode, three other such brutal copycat murders came to light. In all the cases, the killer and the victim knew each other. They are labeled as crimes of passion. Why is it that some murders, gruesome murders, just shake us to the very core? Why is it that most of us ask the same question? Why did she not walk away? What drives a man to become a beast and not give out any signs of abnormality? you would think that the police or reporters are accustomed to seeing such crimes of passion and it would not impact on us at least it not impact on us in an emotional manner but it does so i spoke with a police officer who knows delhi like the back of her hand she was the first woman officer of the indian police service kiran bedi has worked tirelessly to reduce crime against women ma'am thank you very much for coming to the studio um most of us are very um very disturbed even though uh, you know as reporters and you as a police person would have seen so much of crime but there are some crimes which just jo kehte na dil ko chhu jata hai we can't understand why some crimes are you know like people say why is it this crime more important but kuch aise hota hai jo dehla deta hai bilkul shraddha walker and this aftab guys crime is one of that can you please explain to me that how did this happen how can a man chop a woman into pieces and then start disposing of those body pieces and koi kuch nahi samajh pata that why has this happened neighbors don't know there is no trail for months on end how did this happen in 2022 look it's becoming evident that she was looking for help she was looking for help and the latest news is that she was dissuaded from pursuing the matter by the man's family mm. so where's man's family we're not even talking about the man's family yeah. she it hasn't revealed yet that she was coming back to her main family mm. mother and father but it's also revealing that the mother has actually died out of that kind of yeah the trauma the trauma she's passed away maybe she Some, something she passed away probably she didn't have much of a communication relationship with the father we don't know but to, uh, the uh, it, another news which is emerging is that the uh, the aftab's family knew hmm. that there was violence going on 
maybe even drug smuggling, maybe even drug intake, maybe even weaponizing, maybe. It's coming emerging that Aftab's family knew. Hmm. Where is this family? We're talking about the woman's family. So I'm a little wondering, huh. why haven't we connected yet with the f uh, this man's family? Why? Yeah. Because this man is a product of his family. Yeah. Just as this girl is a rebel in her own family, the boy is a product of his family. He's not a rebel. Hmm. He's not walked away. I believe they went and stayed back also. He's been connected. Hmm. And he's also made, something's shifted. Hmm. Something went wrong that uh, the uh, family shifted house. Why? Yeah. So I think that stage is yet to come. So, uh, it's not just a crime of passion which he's claiming now. Yeah. He, uh, you know, it, in the heat of the moment he killed her. It's not a heat of the moment. No. Certainly not. It's developed over a period. Because it's clearly that she's been asking for help. She's gone to the doctor. She's gone to the dentist. She's gone to a counsellor. She's gone even to a, a female counsellor. And the female counsellor was told, no, the family is not helping, uh, family is not encouraged in pursuing the matter. But ma'am, it's a very common thing. Now, aapne, you've dealt with, when you were in, uh, I think, West Del Western uh, Delhi or something, you were uh, policing at that time. You also dealt with so many crimes like this against women. You brought down the graph when you were in the police. Uh, crimes against women came down. You must have seen so many such incidents. Maybe not as macabre as this, but brutal incidents you must have seen, right? Look, these are um, cases... If a woman has, it's come to your notice, you can do this crocine. What? You can do, means minor medicine. Ah, okay. You can prevent it if you catch it early. Okay. In this case, she could have been caught early. How? How? You know, we, when I was growing up in service, Domestic Violence Act wasn't there. Correct. United Nations came with this Domestic Violence Act, etc. 80s, I think, right? Later. Huh. But during the time early, there was no domestic violence as a crime. Yeah. That's why you never had these crimes against women's cells. They all came after the UN yeah. uh, convention. Yeah. So therefore, uh, that time, when police were sending these women away, huh. sending these women, that there is no crime, there is a hard hurt, there is a little hurt, grievous hurt, there is a simple hurt, simple hurt, there is a cognizable offense. If there is a hurt, there is a hurt. This is how women were being sent away in the earlier years before the domestic violence came. I'll tell you how I dealt with it. Now that is the woman in me or empathy in me or compassion in me. It can be a part of the man's nature too. I used to use preventive sections of law, which I said, very minor medicine. Preventive sections of law could have been used even here. Uh, so I used to use these preventive sections of law, yeah. even that was called CRPC, huh. prevention of breach of peace. Okay. Apprehension of breach of peace. This okay. can be always used. And this is a British made law. Huh. CRPC, Criminal Procedure Code. British made law, apprehension of breach of peace, section 107, 151. You can even arrest the person, but you can, it's, it's not a criminal proceeding. It's a peace proceeding where you listen to both the parties and bind them down to, for good behavior. But that's if the girl comes to the police. Here, she only went to the doctor, to the dentist. Why didn't, like, isn't the doctor supposed to see... Uh, domestic violence that it seems like domestic violence and report it to the police. Is there nothing like that? So that should have been done. Hmm. Such things we, we suspect. Because a girl may not speak. Yeah. The doctor could speak. The uh, police officer who got the complaint could speak. The uh, NGO could speak. And they could go back to these preventive sections of law where both the parties would have been summoned and then heard and then bound down for good behavior. Now, you know, violation of that bounding, binding down means uh, uh, six months prison. So you don't we need a domestic violence act. You can use these proceedings both by an SDM of the area or by an assistant commissioner of police of the area. This is what I used to do earlier. You'd be surprised. My whole PhD thesis became domestic violence and drug abuse. When I was doing my PhD, I changed my subject because I saw rampant domestic violence and with no solutions. Then I, re I studied and there's a predictive relationship between alcoholism, drug abuse and domestic violence. It's a predictive relationship. In any family where you have alcoholism or drug intake, very few go to sleep after this. Very few just go to sleep. Oh. Majority indulges in violence. 
majority indulge very few that's what proven research is showing so that means majority of the women are silently being abused and they are tolerating it at, uh, in all hours of the night ma'am in this case the man is a very intelligent killer so if you are saying that in the possibility that he has done some kind of drug abuse or alcohol abuse and it would have shown up in his blood Yes. Right. It would Now have. he is so he's so intelligent that he has managed to dispose of this bodies, dozens of part of the bodies. He has without anybody getting to know. Two a.m. Jana, and you know he's done it in such a manner in different different places. So he would have known. He would have stopped consuming those drugs or whatever, so that his blood doesn't show that Ego, by you, now. Ad addicts don't. Okay. They are habituals then. Okay. He's habitual. He's almost habitual. He was dependent on regular alcoholism. The uh, womanizing, getting more women. I think that's also appeared that he probably had other women also. This is deviant behavior, isn't it? It's more than deviant. It's one hundred percent criminally delinquent behavior. Okay. And she was tolerating this nonsense. Why? Hmm. A. Maybe she thought, she, where does she go back to? Who does she go back to? The man had his home. Hmm. She didn't. I think that's the key. She was a very insecure woman, ma'am. So here, pe na, baad wohi uthti hai that where is the support system? Why is it that Shraddha felt that once she has rebelled against her parents, once she has fought against her parents, she can't go back, and she can't even convince her friends ki bachalo mujhe. Mm -hmm. She can't tell her friends, and the friends don't find it in them to do anything. So na friends circle, na siblings, na parents. What is this then? She went to her friends, few mm -hmm. friends. But they were dissuaded to follow up further, mm. so she didn't. She had she tapped her old friends, but the friends that said follow up can't do it. I think there she was not allowing them to move further, and now friends also were hesitant that they may not disturb her her own personal life, so they may intrude into personal life. The fault lied only with her. She wanted to hang on. Yeah, she wanted to hang on. Prob I do not know why she was wanting to hang on. So. After all, she was an educated woman. She had yeah. worked also. Correct. She was. She had a job also. She gave gave it up. So I think that's the problem with these these kind of young women. Is what is their priority in life? Is a priority only to hang on to a male security or to live together yet with some dignity and self respect? That's the question. See. It's okay, perfect. Everybody looks for a life like long companion, a credible secure. But here he, she is saddled to an inch, a, a violent man, and she's constantly saying, "Ye mujhe mar raha hai, ye mujhe mar dega, main bachalo mujhe aake." But why is she not walking to a police station saying, "Mujhe bachalo, bachal lete"? Ek sus, arey domestic violence act bhi hota. और बाकी प्रोसीडिंग्स भी होती हैं एन भी आ सकती थी सी नाउ ऑफ कोर्स वी आर लुकिंग बैक एंड लुकिंग बैक यू मेक्स यू वाइजर बट इट्स वाज ऑल प्रिवेंटेबल दैट्स द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द वुमन व्हाई डज शी बिकम सो वीक नीड दैट शी फील्स दिस इज द बियॉन्ड एंड द एंड ऑल ऑफ हर लाइफ बीइंग विद अ मैन इवन इफ इन अ ब्यूसिव रिलेशनशिप एंड फॉर्चुनेटली शी डजेंट हैव चिल्ड्रन आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड अ मदर विद चिल्ड्रन कि मेरे बच्चों का क्या होगा सो शी टॉलरेट्स मदर्स मेनी मदर्स डू टॉलरेट मेनी मदर्स डू टॉलरेट फॉर द सेक ऑफ द फ्यूचर ऑफ द चाइल्ड दे सफर वायलेंस इट्स अ फैक्ट बट इन दिस केस वेयर इज इट इज शी जस्ट अर सेल्फ एंड शी कुड गो बैक टू वर्क वाई डिड शी नॉट शी डिड नॉट हैव एनी बडी फ्रेंड कनेक्टिंग विद आई थिंक शी वॉज टोटली इन टू दिस पर्सन कंट्रोल टोटल कंट्रोल आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर शी वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम आई थिंक द अपब्रिंग दिस total deficiency in the way these women grow up in education they you only made them literate yeah. you only make these women literate yeah they are not educated because education means self confidence ma'am yahan pe again i'll come back that the parents and uh, the society the the siblings the friends none of them give that uh, that sense to the woman that you know this is not the be all and end all do not tolerate violence do not tolerate violence at the workplace do not tolerate tolerate violence in a relationship do not tolerate violence even of your parents i need to bring the parents bit also because soon after the shraddha case there's been another case where a woman was her body was found in a suitcase where her father shot her dead and her mother wrapped her body and put it in a suitcase and threw it why because she had an intercaste marriage so 
here is a case again you've given birth to a child what what pushes parents to do this seriously wrong with parenting in india any woman who succeeded in life go back she'll say my parents yeah. every woman's life who's gone wrong she'll say went wrong in grooming she may not say it but went wrong in grooming it's a weak need weak grooming it's a do be it's a diff, confused mess signaling a woman a reliability a girl is a liability even the brother thinks ek din tumne chale jana hai you're a migrant in fact the biggest migrant population in india is a woman in india she's a migrant why she loses her identity loses her surname if she chooses to not keep it and changes her home well, who's a migrant migrant is one who has to leave their own home and goes elsewhere this a larger definite migrant they migrate here you are told you will migrate yeah so migrant to so, mera ghar kya fir wohi hai jo hoga that means yahi hai mera so i think this message of tumne to migrate karna hai tum to paraya dhan paraya dhar paraya dhan all the time you are paraya dhan i remember when i was growing up others would hear us and parents would say tum paraya dhan nahi ho your parents i mean i need to bring that in your parents were phenomenal in the education that they gave the strength they gave you and your sister uh to be achievers she was a phenomenal lady too and uh you did so much in your career because your dad stood by you at every step of the way and you've told me this off camera about how your father played a role in your life and how parents supported you i'm sorry Mm-hmm. I'm making you emotional. No, isn't that's it? okay. Uh, so. I owe all my life to them. It's both mother and father combined. You get two hundred percent. If you get two hundred percent from them, you add your hundred percent. You are a three hundred percenter. Here we are not girls are not even hundred percenters. They're probably seventy, sixty. Imagine any one of us, you and I, like we are three hundred percenters. Yeah. You were uh, speaking to Palki the other day. I love that interview. That woman is also three hundred percent. Yeah. Those women who made it top in their lives and become now inspiration to others are three hundred percenters, and two hundred percent are mummy and dad, and hundred percent they themselves. They it's not the hundred percenters coming from society. It's from them within how they dealt with society around them, even when society tried to pull them down, question them. saying and be envious of them they stood their 100% because they got 200% from their parents yeah so um what would you ad- advise uh what would you advise neighbors the you know that is also very important when nobody bothered to check i i asked uh people around and they say wahan pe to kuch samajh mein nahi aata us area mein but you know i need to I need to dispel this rumor where people say कि आ छोटे flats वगैरह में जहाँ पे होते हैं वहाँ पे नहीं no that's not true it's not just in in people who live in flats it's people who living बड़े बड़े बंगलों में भी in big houses too ma'am I'll give you a, a, a example myself which I I experienced for myself many years ago I got a call from the me the you know the the maid of a friend हु कॉल एंड सेट जल्दी आ जाओ दीदी ने अपने रिस्ट काट दिए शी इज कट हर रिस्ट देर वॉज अ फाइट अ डोमेस्टिक फ्लाइट एंड शी हेज़ कट हर रिस्ट एंड दिस ब्लड एवरी वे सो आई राष्ट्र इट वॉज इन मिडल ऑफ द नाइट हर हजबेंड एंड शी हजबेंड हैड कंज्यूम्ड एल्कोहल हैड अ फाइट एंड शी हैड कट हर रिस्ट सो बाय द टाइम एट जॉइंट फैमिली बाय द टाइम आई रीच दिस सिस्टर इन लॉ हैड टेकन माई फ्रेंड टू अ डॉक्टर सो आई वॉज लाइक वाई हैज शी गॉन सो फार अवे बिकॉज देर वॉज अ हॉस्पिटल राइट इन फ्रंट right i'm coming to the point which you had made about you know how uh, you need doctors need to make a point so i said why is she gone so far away which was like you know several kilometers away it gone in the middle of the night to a hospital so i reached the hospital uh, the doctors uh, thing which was a small dingy clinic and these are very well off people but they have taken their sister in law to a dingy clinic jahan pe stitches kar diye ah, raat ko ah. and brought home so then i came back this was the time when there were no cell phones so i came back home to see ki wapas aa gayi hai she had come home and then i just looked at her and i said why didn't you go across the road to this hospital which is right there mulchand why didn't you go there so then the sister in law said are wahan pe to medical legal case ban jayega 
सो देन आई स्पोक टू हर पेरेंट्स आई से दिस इज वॉट हैपन्ड चलो बेटा अच्छा हुआ ना मेडिको लीगल केस बन जाता तो नाक कट जाती हाँ वो नाक की कट जाती नाक की कटनी नाक ऊंची नहीं होनी नाक कटाने के से डरते हो नाक ऊंची नहीं भी हो सकती आपकी नाक भी ऊंची हो सकती है अगर आपकी बेटी और बेटा लायक है तो ये नाक कट गई क्योंकि नाक नहीं कट की जीवन कट गया दीज पेरेंट्स ड्यू पेरेंटिंग इज आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ फर्स्ट पेरेंट्स गो ऑन ट्रेंड वी ऑल बिकम पेरेंट्स बाई ट्रायल एंड एरर एंड लुक एट द डैमेज वी डू आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर पेरेंट्स हु आर फार हेड पेरेंट्स ऑफ विजनरीज पेरेंट्स हु believe in the quality of life believe in self reliance man or a woman i think groom their boys and girls better i think we no only talking about the girl what about the boys family the boys family yes what about this man aftab's family what kind of man did they produce did he not show signs of these deviancies drugs uh, dating etc and womanizing i'm sure he's doing it during his time while he's there what did the what is the responsibility of the parents of the boy mm-hmm. of the boy i think tremendously negligent we are always we are talking about i am so are we many talking about the grooming of the girls what about the brewing of the boys yeah why can't they be broomed if they misbehave like that when they grow yeah because they are afraid that they might broom them they are afraid of the sons so i think unless we groom they are afraid of their sons you're they saying they are afraid of their sons afraid of sons of leaving them leaving them Uh, by ah, themselves because dependency financial dep- dependency emotional dependency on a son ki wo dekhega humko ha. budhape mein so That's don't say anything against the son if the daughter in law would be daughter in law is being harassed by your son side with your son instead Our grooming of- is very bad girls being considered to be not being trained uh, to be weak weak need not courageous and boys irresponsible irresponsible behavior is the grooming of our boys and our girls most of the boys who grown up well and becoming great partners in life are those who were groomed by parents ma'am what about the neighbors why is it that that whole you know jaise beat constable ka hota tha khabri hote the is that thing there or not in delhi it's one of the biggest cities you after mumbai your largest population is uh, delhi calcutta यहाँ पे कहाँ है वेर इज दैट खबरी सिस्टम ऑफ नेबरहुड देर वॉज अ वेरी गुड कैंपेन वाइल अ गो कपल इज रिंग अ बेल देर टू बी अ कैंपेन बाय सम एन जी ओ कॉल रिंग अ बेल दे कैन बी टू थिंग्स रिंग अ बेल इफ यू फाइंड समथिंग स्क्रीमिंग आउट दे सेट समबडी सेट हमें आवाजें आती थी तो क्या प्रॉब्लम हंड्रेड को फोन कर दो कि इस घर से आवाजें आ रही हैं नाम ना बताओ दे प्रोटेक्ट योर नेम हंड्रेड से यहाँ से आवाजें आ रही हैं तो क्या प्रॉब्लम आएगी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड की जिम्मेवारी बन जाएगी इट विल बिकम अ पीसीआर कॉल इट्स नॉट ए केस रजिस्टर्ड इट्स इंफॉर्मेशन टू द पुलिस इट इज द ड्यूटी डू यू नो इट्स 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 अ ड्यूटी बाय लॉ टू बी इंफॉर्मिंग द पुलिस ऑफ अ सस्पेक्टेड क्राइम इट्स अ ड्यूटी ऑफ अ सिटीजन सिटीजन नीड टू नो दैट इट्स अ ड्यूटी टू रिपोर्ट क्राइम और सच इंसिडेंट्स ऑफ क्राइम टू द पुलिस इनफैक्ट यू डोंट परफॉर्म ड्यूटी यू कैन बी लाइबल but we don't follow this up so ring a bell ring up 100 <coughs> ghar nahi jao ring bhi bell nahi karo chaliye are kya ho raha hai awaaz aa rahi thi nahi sab theek hai kitni bar hi bar tabhi wo kya karta tha maybe when they were fighting they would probably switch on the shower so that you don't uh, he said loud music loud one music. of the interrogations reportedly is loud music eh hey, itna loud music kyun aa raha hai is it something being doused yeah so i think ring a bell sh- too much of water reduce usage tenants water so ten uh, the landlord uh, verification yeah. right ring a bell ring up 100 i think that will make a lot of difference you know uh, landlord verification gets me to the point of this uh, mangalore uh, killer you know that uh, that bomber the pressure cooker bomber uh, what he did was that he stole aadhar card and he changed the picture that's what the police report says he changed the picture and then he goes to mysore and he rents a place with the name called prem his name is something else he calls mohammed something and he changes his name and that poor lady you know single woman or whatever old woman usne aadhar card dekha and she gives uh, she is a landlord she gives to him he stays out there he takes another stolen id and he gets a sim card right and he gets a sim card from chennai from there he uses that uh, phone he uses this he sends pdf these are all smart alec criminals 
but it is so easy to forge to fudge identity in this country and there's no way of verifying how many of us keep uh, household helps safai ke liye kisi ko rakh diya driver kisi ko rakh diya aadhar card de do take the aadhar card okay aadhar card that's it none of us go to a police station and say this is the guy will you please verify if his aadhar is real or not who does that ma'am stop don't stop the watch you may slip on a uh, verification because you trusted straight away but if you see anything suspicious then call the 100 put the onus on the police for 100 it will take give them a lead hmm. though it means more 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 yeah. verification work more work for the police but it also means prevention for the police from later on investigation work look at the cost of investigation yeah. look at the cost of energy time effort involving so many agencies in investigation of these cases it's herculean effort and look at the cost of the court time of the court hmm. it's very very expensive on energy and time yes absolutely court time yeah. lawyers time money cost and your energy cost and effort cost so many agencies are involved so stitch in time is saving nine ma'am you know delhi like the back of your hand you have or your karm bhumi is this city though you went to puducherry and you worked wonders there too and uh, i've read your book i've i've seen what you did you in released yes. it i released <laughs> the hindi version yes mm-hmm. uh, but you you know i've seen you uh, working out there too and fighting with people to getting work done because there is a general malaise in administration it's like जब तक कोई बोलेगा नहीं या जब तक कोई डंडे नहीं पड़ेंगे करेंगे नहीं एंड यू विल डिड द डंडा इन ऑफ टाइम्स इन योर लाइफ यू विजिटेड मी यस आई विजिटेड एंड यू विजिटेड द ओपन हाउस यस द बेस्ट पार्ट इज यू वॉक्ड इनटू द ओपन हाउस आई सॉ द ओपन हाउस आई सॉ हाउ पीपल फाउंड यू नो द कॉन्फिडेंस टू कम अप एंड स्पीक टू यू टेल मी दैट वेयर इज इट लैकिंग इन दिल्ली व्हाई इज इट दैट पीपल स्टिल डोंट हैव कॉन्फिडेंस ओपन अप द हाउस ओपन अप मेक इट मैंडेटरी make this mandatory that every government office shall open the door to their own office for an hour a day even an hour a day the opening itself is prevention you see believe in prevention hmm. it be made mandatory it's not visitor hour 12 to 1 and somebody walks in and you're not there no you have to be there so you will declare your visitor hour be there whoever you are sho Mm-hmm. SHO, SDM, collector, SP, DGP, DIG, secretary, chief secretary, minister. Mm-hmm. That means us time per up meeting me nahi jayenge. Us time pe you will have an open house. So open house can be morning. Open house can be the lean hour of the day. It can be an open house. But open house which you witnessed as a lieutenant governor when I had an open house. Do you know I knew I got to know my problems. I knew my corruption issues and I knew the challenges that's why I could respond and I could go ahead and correct and prevent so the point is make it mandatory for all public servants rank and file whether whether you're a politician whether you're a minister whether you're a public servant or a secretary highest rank or lowest inspector so and so visitor are you open house do open the door ma'am in delhi they're all busy with vip security who has the time that doesn't matter द पॉइंट इज द टाइम नहीं है पब्लिक के लिए तो आप हो तो आपको पब्लिक के लिए नहीं है तो पब्लिक के लिए टाइम नहीं तो फिर आपको पब्लिक पैसा किस लिए दे रही है पब्लिक इज पेइंग यू यू एंड आई वी आर पेड बाय द पब्लिक टू सर्व द पब्लिक ऑल अदर्स आर सो पॉइंट इज ओपन द डोर फॉर अ विजिटर आर इवन वन आवर अ डे वन आवर अ डे फाइव डेज अ वीक एंड इफ यू डू दैट ओपनिंग इट सेल्फ इज प्रिवेंशन क्योंकि वो होता था मुझे पता है उधर होता था अच्छा एल जी हाउस नाउ द जूनियर्स न्यू नहीं सुनेंगे तो वहाँ चले जाएंगे राजनिवास दैट वॉज प्रिवेंशन या सी दैट वॉज इट्स सेल्फ प्रिवेंशन मेरे पास अब वो आ रहा था हु हैड सेड द इट इन्वॉल्व मोर देन थ्री डिपार्टमेंट दे नॉट कोऑर्डिनेटिंग नाउ दे केम टू मी बिकॉज इज ही नाउ द पुअर मैन वन पर्सन कान से तुम इसका काम तुम भी करो ही कुन डिक्टेट अदर टर्म्स आई गॉट the role of coordinator where more than one department is involved and i could bring them together and get things sorted out but as you chronicled what happens is when you do it then the the political establishment would get irritated ab yahan delhi mein 
there also you had the same problem here also is the same way there is one section here mcd kisi ke under aata hai the the admin i won't use uh, terms because there are people outside this country who wouldn't know what mcd means and all because there are several layers of government in case you are not living in india and you don't understand this just to explain to you that delhi has several layers of government so there is the center also plays so the the lieutenant governor here comes from the center the uh, the there is a delhi government so we have several layers of government and that is where all the problem occurs as you know ma'am delhi police comes under the central government under the home minister then you have mr kejriwal who is the chief minister ab in dono ke khincha usme खिंचातानी में पीपल सफर दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स ना हु इज वॉन्ट टू गो हु आर यू हु आज हु आर द पीपल गोइंग टू से दैट हु शुड श्रद्धा हैव गॉन टू शुड शी हैव गॉन टू द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर शुड शी हैव गॉन टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर किसके पास जाती श्रद्धा लोकल पुलिस स्टेशन शी डजन नीड टू गो एनी वेर एल्स इवन अ बीट ऑफिसर इज परफेक्ट इवन अ हंड्रेड कॉल इज इनफ दैट्स वॉट अ सिटीजन नीड्स टू नो यू डोट हैव गो स्ट्रेट टू द एल जी इन द सी एम्स गो टू द लोकल पुलिस स्टेशन go to 100 that's what uh, are put it on twitter put it on social media i'm being beaten i need help you tag delhi police or tag the police today the police departments are on social media tag them you are putting the onus on them use social media to seek help right and what about friends and family should they put out on social media even if their daughter tells them ki mat karo don't escalate it like it happened in this case suppose the you know she wants her privacy she says no don't put it out or if you see like what happened in the other case where the parents uh, were you know killed their own daughter should the neighbors turn around and say that this this set of parents is ill treating their daughter why not it's a duty hmm. because that ill treatment is going to lead to serious consequences it's not a, it's not chugalpaz it's not gossip it's crime prevention how does crime prevention happen unless the citizens cooperate unless the citizens are forthcoming however it's now the responding police how it deals with it with sympathy with empathy with mediation right with action every situation will need its own remedy everybody doesn't need a danda and everybody near doesn't need a forgiveness it is according to the that's why doctors see the patient and then prescribe it's a prescription and that's a security prescription which is the expertise of the law enforcement agencies and they can call a mediator they can call a counselor they can ask an ngo to link yourself there's so many options available options correct like ma'am uh, you just recently said and i'm quoting uh, we do not know the extent we do not know the variety of the problem yeah. we do not know which state is the most vulnerable mm. we do not know why women are not using the domestic violence act we have no research on how the act function ma'am who is this we firstly i need to know who we all are we uh, which is like is it the government is it we as people we, is it who is it families. and and then we yeah, means families 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 do not know hmm. families need to know what what are the what, what is family violence now i'm looking at larger family violence right. families need to know family violence what is the pattern of family violence sometimes even alcoholic fathers or angry fathers even if they're not alcoholic beat up their children so what happens to that or there is a male member in the family who may be a distant relative or close attacks at uh, uh, abuses the the child in the and the child, family protects it it's all family violence so i think family violence the pattern of family violence extent of family violence the level of toleration response to family violence the usage of domestic violence act i think needs to be understood hmm. and read through But we need to regularly educate our people as citizenship through PTAs, through RW associations, the resident welfare associations could should take this up as education, as a part of PTAs, RWs. That's where everybody panchayats. What about panchayats? You have a sarpanch. Half thirty three percent are women. What about they being aware of what their rights and responsibility? See those these these key heads. if they are trained to understand what is family violence and there are training programs that's their duty teachers um, faculties laws are this no and by the way there's no social audit i've been mm. saying where's the social audit to understand i do believe we are doing swasth audits we are doing portion audits we doing employment audits 
we are doing skill audits. We are doing so many very interesting audits under centrally sponsored schemes to understand where do we go. Technology audits, startups. We are doing many, many audits, surveys. You can, whether they are governmental or non-governmental. What about a social audit on domestic family violence? Hmm. Why not? And let us understand which state is the most progressive and which is the most regressive. Ma'am, on family violence, I'm again going to quote what you just recently said. You said, I'm talking about family violence where the woman is the victim, where a man has victimized her or a woman has victimized her. Let us... Let it surface. We're yeah. all talking generically. Yeah. Uh, we need to become specific. Yeah. So that once we know the specific answers, we know exactly. a disease, we know the problem, automatically solutions will come, strategies will come, policies will come. That makes sense to me. Can you tell me just roughly if there is a roadmap as to how we can get or how a government can get specific? Thank you for asking this. Every university can take up a project. Every university is actually measured by what kind of research have they done. They are rated. How much of social engineering research have they done? It's called social engineering. In this social engineering, one question, one question, if you were, are you suffering from, pehle do, kya domestic violence jante ho kya hai? Gharelu hinsa hai? Or kya jante ho ki tum koi galiye bhi nahi nikhal sakta? Because even mental harassment yeah. is domestic violence, according to the definition of domestic violence, right? Even she being refused to connect with her family is part of domestic violence definition. Even she obviously demanding, going back and demanding things is part of domestic violence. D making a snap of family relation or wanting to support a family member because it it's uh, uh, even economic, taking away, uh, forcing her to salary apni aadi de do is all under definitions of domestic violence. So we could say, first of all, pehla question, project from universities. Hmm. Univers e every law school, every university, colleges, departments of social welfare, Departments of Criminology, they can all do these projects time to you time. You get to know from, from students whether their mothers are victims. Bilkul. So then we rate, then we decide the pattern. Let these become public. They put this on the website. But I want also, ab university karegi to apne area mein karegi na. Let's do a national survey. Hmm. Today's, uh, uh, I just now read, United Nations Secretary General has said, Every every minute, eleven women are becoming violent, domestic violence victims in the world. That's what he said. It's, it's out in the papers today. He's also talking about. All right, if you're talking about, then what's what wrong? Why does the UN also not declare a whole national, international, even rate countries, mm. even rate countries? So university and you don't need money for this. Yeah. Take this up as internship projects. Hmm. And what about national? I think a national body, National Commission for Women's Rights, a National Human Rights Commission. These are national bodies. These national bodies can go about doing, asking for, and funding it hmm. accordingly. Hmm. Fund agencies. L recently, I've noticed hmm. a National Commission for Women is promoting and funding seminars on women police stations. Why not? Let's do this as a next step. Let's rate and see where are the women being uh, uh, victims of domestic violence maximum. Rate that state and shame the others. Yeah. Rate them, rate the ones who are doing well and shame the others. And then, but it's not naming and shaming only. I think we need to strategize. And strategies could be the following. Education, grooming, parenting workshops. Ma'am, the other thing is about digital footprint. Mm -hmm. uh, Mostly people uh, are always in touch with each other through WhatsApp groups and all. But uh, here what happens is that uh, he managed to fool many people that she's still alive. It's only when they said that somebody noticed that for a long time they haven't been in touch and they found something suspicious. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the duty, at least I feel, it's the duty of friends, siblings and all that if you find somebody going silent not talking, it's necessary to speak. Uh, but I feel that, but coming from you would be a, a stronger uh, advice, isn't it? Parents should never abandon their daughters, even if the girl has walked away. Never ab abandon daughters. Why? Daughters need this watch. Mm. They need connectivity. But parents should not. I think that's a mistake families make. 
सुरक्षा का ध्यान रखेंगे कनेक्ट रखेंगे कहीं ना कहीं से पूछते रहेंगे वो ठीक है ना ठीक है तो ठीक है आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर फादर बैंडेंड है इट इज एन अबेंडनमेंट बाय द शी हैज अ ब्रदर टू या दे अबेंडेंड एंड इट्स इज अ फ्रेंड्स हु कनेक्टेड हे व्हाट हैपेंड ऑन सोशल मीडिया शी साइलेंट एटसेट्रा व्हाई नॉट फैमिली व्हाई डिड द फैमिली अबेंडन हर द प्राइमरी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ अ सिक्योरिटी ऑफ अ चाइल्ड इज ऑफ द पेरेंट वंस यू बिकम अ पेरेंट whether you like your child or not now question is how do you maintain a contact yeah. can be through a neighbor through a friend through a relative mujhe bata de wo theek hai na jeevit hai na yeah parent ki primary responsibility yahi hai once you become a parent also these ego troubles that happen there are many cases where girls go against parents wishes and get married yes. all right पेरेंट्स आर एंग्री कि बिना पूछे शादी की और बिना हमारी मर्जी के शादी की सो दे स्टॉप टॉकिंग एंड द गर्ल गेट्स अपसेट दैट ओके ना आई सिवर्टाइज एंड मेनी टाइम्स मेन आस देयर वाइव्स इन सच केसेस टू सिवर्टाइज विद द पेरेंटल होम दैट्स व्हेन ऑल द ट्रबल अकर्स इज व्हेन द गर्ल फील्स दैट यू नो समबडी यू नोन फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ योर मैरिड ऑफ योर लाइफ यू कैन जस्ट सिवर्टाइज एंड देन रीबिल्ड विद अनदर सेट ऑफ फैमिली and they will trust you they will look after you all your life and you can trust them all your life sometimes those things don't work the earlier safety net was also important i think these are early signals hmm. this is what has to be groomed in her upbringing that you will move into you will choose into another home you choose to it's your choice to move into another home you will choose to stay on with another person but there are lines which must be drawn hmm. एक फाइनेंशियल इंडिपेंडेंस नहीं खोनी है पेरेंट्स इस रिलेशनशिप नहीं खत्म करना है रिश्तेदारी रखनी है दोस्ती रखनी है अपनी इंडिपेंडेंस नहीं खोनी है सो आई थिंक दिस काइंड ऑफ ये थोड़ी सी समझाना ये जो साथ फेरे करते हैं ना ये ये कर, क्यों नहीं कर देते साथ फेरे कि तुमने अपनी फाइनेंशियल अगर कमा रही हो इंडिपेंडेंस रखना दीज वाउ ये ये वाउस क्यों न्यू वाउस ये न्यू वाउस डेट्स गोन फॉर न्यू वाउस तो ये न्यू वाउज है स्टेइंग कनेक्ट बकर अर्ली साइंस है अगर तुम्हें गाली गलोच करता है ये गुस्से वाला है नशा करने लगता है और तुम्हारा तुम्हारी बेजती करता है या तुम्हें हाथ उठाता है पुलिस से पहले पहले रिश्तेदारों को तो बुला लो कॉल द फ्रेंड्स लुक आई वांट माय रिलेशनशिप बिकॉज नाउ आई हैव चिल्ड्रेन बट इट्स योर ड्यूटी फ्रेंड्स प्लीज संभालो इसको वो एक वार्निंग दे जाएंगे रिश्तेदारी रखेंगे फ्रेंडशिप रखेंगे उसके ऊपर कोई डर तो होगा कि मुझे देखने वाला कोई है yeah. अभी तो वो कह रहा है सिसे नहीं ताकि मैं उसको उसको दबोच लूं और जो उसको करना करते रहूं उसी फिर वो मरती है दैट्स व्हेन शी डज प्लान आइदर शी डाइज एवरी डे और शी कमिट सुड मैम यू वर ऑल्सो यू नो आई जी इन तिहार इन द प्रजेंस थिंग यू सीन हार्ड एंड क्रिमिनल्स does this case seem like one of those that you saw out there and like you know you were there for prison reforms you faced a lot of criticism also uh, when you were there when you were said that ye prison reforms ko bahut zyada aage le gayi hain you know because it, doing anything new means fighting an entrenched system so tell me how did you tackle that at that time when you saw these kind of really hardened criminals did you see a ray of hope did you see things that human beings can change i isolated them hmm. i put them in isolation wards to make them reflect and gave them counselors so i isolated them and they took me to court <laughs> yeah. uh, saying why they she's given us a human rights violation isolation court upheld the the uh, it's up the up to the superintendent or the ig to decide how you lodged lodging is yours but my lodging was isolation was not a vip treatment it was for reflection understand what you've done with the because he is one day to go the point is why was i doing prison reforms for the reason one day they have to go back to society let me prepare them for release so that they don't come back yeah so this man was also if he was to go back then i it's a reflection and i tell you they broke down on isolation and in the isolation this they slept on that same blanket hmm. they got the same food they got isolated and the same food no extra or family jo aa rahi hai batao kaun aa rahi hai that is what it was real you say prison reforms in fact i gave them the real imprisonment then when they were isolated and but also gave them a counselor and gave them books to read hmm. so they were also counseled 
major general retired was a counselor for these gangsters and these hardened criminals and in isolated ward a major general volunteered uh, during that time it's a, it's a part of my book and he used to come and counsel them so baat bhi kar rahe hain akela bhi nahi chhod rahe taaki mar jaye latak bhi na jaye latakne ka to matlab nahi but same carpet same blanket same food same bartan nothing extra it was true imprisonment for them so that they realize what it is to commit such a crime and vipassana that's another thing and also automatically then we took them to vipassana and that's when they melted completely to witness themselves that's how they, it surfaced from within them but mm. that was a later stage mm. first isolated reflection counseling reading then reform and then uh, uh, come back to meditation okay and you you're a great believer in uh, meditation yes i am you've written about it you and you've experienced how it can change a person completely certainly the dry cleaning of the mind dry cleans your thoughts dry cleans your actions it's a dry cleaning of the mind so if you're looking for deletion and dry cleaning and de decongestion that's when it dry cleans of all the negativity and starts you made place for positive thoughts but then you're also reading you getting counseling you getting bhakti in your this thing the whole environment is ennobling the environment changes you and it doesn't matter which religion you are no that doesn't matter because mind uh, thoughts are uh, and agnostic yeah it's negative and positive thoughts are agnostic you may believe in any faith but thoughts are negative or positive did you face resistance in uh, in the prison when you tried all yes this? there was a community which said yoga would change our religion i said you try you try and uh, uh, see because it's all about mind body union so hmm. it's all about you and your mind and body they accepted it later but they had to be explained this is 25 years ago before yoga was big yes. you were doing it in in uh, tihar ma'am the other thing i remember i mean this is from my childhood i remember uh, i even studied started studying i remember uh, ki i was one of that generation i'm sure there'll be many who will remember this i i wanted to take the ips just because of <laughs> kiran vedi let me tell you this you're your legendary you would have the, been very good <laughs> no ma'am bahut padhna padta so ab tum dusro ko padhate so i didn't take it but then i got all the books and i said chalo bhai i mean your you know that crane bedi wala incident i've asked you this before on stage and i've asked you in other interviews but can now this is my podcast so ma'am <laughs> explain what happened that day the whole and why did you get the name crane bedi because there were no cranes to remove bang, badly parked cars <laughs> when i took over as dcp traffic and the roads were clogged Tr- broken down buses broken down trucks and there were no cranes to remove them so people would divert people would get jammed up So I said, "What's the solution?" This is Asian Games kid. Asian time. Games time. There's a solution. They said, "Ma'am, we don't have cranes." Now I can't wait for a government sanction and the money to come. So I hired all the Delhi private cranes. Mm-hmm. I mo- not hired them, mobilized them, hmm. summoned them, mobilized them, made them earn for the cost they are picking up the car, and we did a traffic fine. It was a win-win situation, and it wasn't that there were so many cranes. This is what 1982 or 83 yeah. or something. Whatever like that, was the crane, private crane. Yeah, I they were on my list, and they uh, they came in because they were also lying idle. जब तक कोई बड़ी चीज नहीं बुलाई, here they were not. Here every day they were doing business, and that is what helped. I did not wait for government to buy a crane. I mobilized support, called some of them, and then put microphones on them, cop on them. announcing we are coming remove otherwise you're done so we gave people a chance to including government officers cars wo jo lal batti wali gaadiyan hai safed wali ambassador cars kai bari driver ke sath bhi uthaiye usne kaha acha main to baitha raunga aise usne driver ke sath utha li see the message was fall in line it we need clear roads for people to move so regulation of traffic was my priority people must save time traveling on the road because you get clear roads unobstructed roads so that's how we cleared out or ghaziabad borders etc all by one crane just positioning one crane on ghaziabad border at that time and the truck was afraid to lose because a truck may be kundi lag jayegi and he's mm-hmm. losing business they all cleared my roads by just one crane yeah but that that's your trademark ma'am that you know you believe in this discipline at all costs mm-hmm. you know i've seen uh, what you did about uh, defecation open defecation and how you fought 
you know that it should not happen in uh, when you were there in puducherry and it was like uh, no excuses and i remember uh, lots of people were angry with you because you took the camera and you said i will take photographs and they said oh look at this she's privacy kharab kar rahi hai so tell us about that how you did that sanitation is the first thing for any city management and any wo- person worthwhile and i'm so glad our honorable prime minister talked about from toilets the red fort. Yeah. toilets from the red ramparts of the red fort had he not done that had we not had toilets in place by then covid would have been a bigger disaster because where do women people go actually toilets had just been p- finished up built getting built and covid stuck people had toilets in their own homes otherwise where would they have gone and the disease would have spread even more had they been all over on all this excreta around i think we just made it in time yeah. for me sanitation comes first before work comes it has to be clean surrounding green surrounding and healthy surrounding I think that's what makes you work. And also, they were not willing to clean those toilets. You, you remember, ma'am, that happened. Yeah. You documented that also, and that how you got, a, you know, some girl came up to you and said, "Me karungi sa." That's right. Yeah. So I think that's what happened. But it worked when we showed this kind of gr- relentless determination. Just as you saw Prime Minister's relentless determination, they funded it. F- uh, CSR came a lot in making toilets, corporate social funding. um government funding state government states funding and determination actually helped and it india has become safer because of this otherwise we would have been seriously in the pandemic still if the toilets and all excrete around because flies mosquitoes are all getting you infected but now you don't see that it's come under huge control and water polluting what about water pollution because they were all sitting on the on the sides of these lakes yeah lakes and the same lake is going for recycling yeah so it's it's made a lot of difference so unless you make it into a passion and it's not it's a mission i can't stay without it in fact my first second day in rajnivas took me to the grand canal of puducherry which was dirty hmm. which is iconic for puducherry it was the second day of as left and governor why because i found the stink coming to rajnivas itself stink of Raj, a grand canal of carrying sewage water where it should not have and when i started that recovery and who started it it was a local mla who came to me saying ma'am can you come to my this is my constituency i nobody is listening to me mla said nobody is listening to me ma'am i need you to visit it uh, ma'am you were talking about uh, stench dirty water lakes uh that was in puducherry yeah. you live in delhi you've seen the state of the yamuna it's so filthy you've seen and you've lived here in the month of october in the month of november when you cannot breathe the air you can actually smell you can see the soot in the air that we are all choking away but your former colleague your former friend uh is the chief minister आपने कुछ नहीं बोला उन्हें वेल एवरीबडी थिंक्स दे आर द बेस्ट दे नो बेस्ट एंड आई एम श्योर ही ऑल्सो नोज ही इज द बेस्ट एंड ही थिंक्स ही नोज इट ऑल बट वॉट आई थिंक डेली माई सिटी आवर सिटी नीड्स इज नाइट क्लीनिंग नाइट क्लीनिंग नाइट क्लीनिंग पॉडिचेरी हैड नाइट क्लीनिंग वीज टू डू टू टू लेवल क्लीनिंग वीज टू डू अ टेन ए एम क्लीनिंग एंड वीज टू डू नाइट क्लीनिंग so when people walked the walked the streets they weren't clean we did it twice it spent money we spent money we got it so night cleaning earlier of course there was night cleaning but they were not doing their job here now we watching it and getting it done so they delivered we had the manpower we had the contract with swachhta corporation and we were paying the money but the money not well spent now money totally spent because of supervision supervise supervise get on the roads yourself see things for yourself the municipal commissioners the deputy commissioners should take rounds photographs put them on the twitter handle and say night cleaning and also wherever you finding a dump hmm. because you have manpower even in delhi they just have to deliver better one so introduce night cleaning quickly and secondly is that we need to introduce a home a di- home digesting bring in a quick technology to do home digesting of particularly the soft waste right or the recycling so 
It can be even RWAs because some of them are now trying, but very few. Make it mandatory. Every RWA has to handle its own uh, issues of garbage management, recycling, plastic recycling, um, soft organic waste. Once, once you have this technology, third, find the technology to do dump management quickly. You'll recover crores of rupees of land, but also stop pollution. Look, there are simple solutions. But the key is municipal commissioner, the deputy municipal commissioners, the locals, the inspectorate, everybody walks the streets one hour in the morning. How dare we used to do that? I'm not saying something which is, it's worked. When the officers walk the streets, take, take photographs, take accountability, call the local area person, call the RWA. What is this? What so I think citizens' participation, citizens' responsibility with these two, three steps, night cleaning, uh, di uh, digesters, organic digesters, they're simple, they're easy. RWA's responsibilities, the local area panchayats, right? And then the large dump management for larger technology to start digesting it and make manure out of it, power out of it, gas out of it. It's green gold. Hmm. These dumps are green gold. If you want to look at it, they are green gold because they can be harvested for uh, energy and uh, manuring and many other uh, components, elements which they have. Uh, Ma'am, you uh, you have uh, so many ideas on, uh, you know, how to improve, improve our urban centers. I won't even go into whether it is city or town because you've lived in both, you've worked in both. Uh, and you have these ideas. Uh, I know you uh, You don't want to talk politics and you don't want to talk specifics, but you did try and get into politics at one point of time and then you bid goodbye to it. Can, can you still do things without being a politician? Can you still bring about change? Oh, administration can completely do it. Civil servants can do it. What stops civil servants to uh, walk the streets? What... Bars, the senior most, uh, the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi is doing this. Hmm. But if he's doing it, what about others? He's doing it. Yeah. And that's where he's driving the change, by the way. What about everybody else? There are lakhs of employees in Delhi. Delhi is, has very high population of public servants. But you're seeing how much of resistance he's facing from uh, the Ahmadmi Party, even though the LG is doing it. of that. Hmm. The change, anything innovative, original, new will also get him credits. Well, walk with him. Walk with him. Nothing stops you. Go with him. You're talking about the uh, chief minister or the deputy go with chief him. minister. Yeah. Why does the local minister go with him? Where's the competition? Why are you competing? He's playing his role. You play your own. Why don't you go with him? It'll overnight change the city of Delhi. Stop competition. Stop looking for only credit. Work for combined city, clean, clean city. So, but... If the MLAs don't want, they only want to compete for credits. All right, what about public servants? They're not competing. It's their duty to do it. They're getting caught, they say, between the rivalry of... They're finding excuses. Okay. These are excuses. They have their own duty to perform, Smitha. They have their own duty to perform. They must do it for bomb fearlessly. So if you were chief minister, I know you don't want to get into politics and you don't want to talk politics, but if you were chief minister, what would you do for Delhi today? One, about the crime situation, which we began the podcast with. One was that. And two, to improve the living conditions of people in Delhi. If what would you do? You say if I were chief minister, Delhi, yes. I would have stopped, first of all, that s smoking coming from Punjab. How? That, huh? Plenty. Go work there. Work there. There are solutions. Yeni paise rakhe, fail ho gaye. Maaf kar dena. Fail ho gaye, bagar ek saal ke baad, maaf kar dena. Ye maaf kar dena, tab tak to mere, mujhe to aastama ho gaya. Ye ho gaya. See, the question is not maafi. It's not a question of acceptance failure. It's not a question of asking for time. It's like valuing people's time and being very anxious and angry. Why is that? But the question is, that's that's uh, most not, hypothetical. You don't even feel, uh, nahin, hypothetical, nahin, ma'am, because uh, that means that you're not delivering on the promises that you made to your electorate. Who isn't made it? it? Ah, if, ah, if, if, if well, it was made that we will give you clean air, clean air is the basic thing, right? To give to your electorate. Clean air is the basic health today. Yeah. In fact, Delhi is becoming unlivable because you can't breathe. My uh, lovely South Delhi house, 
I could sit in the balcony and open the windows, etc., and doors and breathe fresh air. I can't. In fact, half of the bread is full of dust. It's full of uh, patani kya kya. It's unlivable now. City is unlivable. And whatever we can do collectively, individually and collectively, regionally, as an NCR, we must do it as soon as possible. Everybody together. Because it's people's lives, children's lives, children's future. Their outdoor has stopped. Children's outdoor has gone for a toss. Where do they go working, walking on the track? How can they go running and jogging on the streets? How can they go cycling? How can they go playing? And the schools also will say indoor, indoor, because it's all outdoor is full of dust, which is a fact. I think we are affecting the next generations. That's a number one issue at the moment for the city. And if the person concerned has a control in the neighboring, then that is a major source also, even if it's 20 percent, even if it's 20. I don't know the research, hmm. but even if it is, why not? Why not? Because that's also under your control. You have a dual responsibility. Yes. So what would you advise him to do? What exact steps would you tell him? Where should he focus as a Delhiite? He's your chief minister too. Forget about what happened in the past. He's your chief minister too. What would you tell him to do today? Well, camp in Punjab. Camp. camp in Punjab and get it done. Hmm. Camp in Punjab. I understand the research is showing that uh, the chief minister of Punjab's constituency was the biggest polluter. Why can't each MLA of that place, camp in their own constituencies, camp in their own constituency, take charge and take responsibility. Each one of them camps there and saying, this is how you have to be rated. Put the onus on each elected representative. Why not? And the panchayats. Them and the panchayats will still happen. But what is needed for the farmers, provide them that. I believe there was money available. I believe there is a machinery available. I believe there's a technology available. I believe. Put it together. Hmm. But camp yourself there. Monitor on a regular basis. But put the, elect the elected representatives who've been elected, whoever it is, whether it's of one party or the other, each one of them is responsible. That's what the role of the country, city's chief minister is. Go camp there during the before it starts and go village to village. Walk the village. Now, this is not for gathering votes. It's for people's health. Hmm. That will bring you votes. Uh, Ma'am, we discussed about what the advice you would give a chief minister. Now, what would you advise the, the commissioner of police of Delhi to make Delhi a safe place? I do not know his style of working right now. But I would like to see him more visible. I see him driving technology changes very well, putting systems in place very well. I noticed that. Futuristic um, data management and predictions on crime very well hmm. because that's coming in the, the hmm. newspapers. Hmm. So I mine is only related to what's coming in the newspapers. But I want him to become, I like to see leadership more visible. That's okay. exactly, exactly what I said earlier. Hmm. If the leadership is more visible, which means that he finds time to connect at the grassroots, he can pick up a police station of the day, right? Yeah. And he said, oh, I'm so busy. Yes, you are exceedingly stressed out. I know that. But do not st go away from the ground level. The connect with people. The connect with the people. Connect with not only the people, but their own rank and file. They cannot see you. Hmm. The constabulary doesn't get to see you. Visit the police stations. Look at their premises. Look at their amenities. Look at, talk to them and find out how they're performing. Listen to them, hear them out. They've got ideas. So I would like to see him at least three times in a week visit police stations directly. At announced or unannounced time, would be good to have announced time. Give people a chance. Because, you know, overnight. And then don't declare which police station will he go. Anyone. Okay, surprise ones. Yeah, anyone. But commissioner is going to be on the, on the move. <laughs> There's so, probably a reason why, ma'am, that forces got together and made sure that you didn't become commissioner. <laughs> I still remember the time, ma'am, when uh, God bless his soul, he's no longer there. But Mr. Dadwal, uh, who was junior to you, uh, became uh, commissioner of police and uh, you didn't. Uh, what did you feel at that time? Like you felt anger or you felt... Can't fight the system anymore. I moved on immediately. I didn't hang on. I didn't complain. 
I didn't fret and fume. I moved on immediately and I had my own plans and destiny opened up many other doors for me. I moved on, but it was a huge loss because I trained half of the Delhi police as Joint Commissioner, Special Commissioner training. It was a very strong missed opportunity, both for the force uh, collectively and myself. But I'd, and I'd grown up with the force. So I know it, but I moved on. I didn't fret and fume. If you did you did I complain? I moved on, and Abki Kacheri came after that. Siddharth Basu's see what a great opportunity that was, where I became a citizens judge. Yeah, when I started to see Abki Kacheri was not a citizens court. You played many roles. I mean, you didn't. It wasn't as if you you know went went away from the scene. There was always something or the other that you were doing. Um, becoming uh, you know you moved even into that uh, I'm going to f tell the viewers that ma'am is dabbing on this <laughs> typical um, Kiran Bedi ma'am where she's got an injury but she did not stop and she didn't say that I shoot pe nahi sakti kyunki injury ho gayi hai. in spite of the injury she's sitting here with me for almost an hour and mm -hmm. and that's why I have I'm a huge admirer of uh, Kiran Bedi ma'am mm -hmm. ma'am um, you tried, uh, you know, you've always been connected with the people of this city. Uh, and not just city, I mean, I've seen you in Puducherry too. It's citizens of the country also, because it matters for you. India Against Corruption was one, you know, where you just felt very seriously that corruption is, is breaking the back of this nation and we will not be able to move forward. Tell me about your experience in that. How it started, why you got joined in and why you didn't just give up. I went for a cause. Cause was met because we did successfully achieve exposure of the extent of corruption which was prevailing at that time. Hmm. Whether it was Commonwealth Games, whether it was other society in Maharashtra, yes. whether it was 2G, right or wrong, but mass corruption. We successfully exposed it to the extent and media took on and explained it very well. And we also lobbied for uh, the Lokpal bill at that time. We did get the act, finally, but without enough teeth, etc. That came in later. But we did. We could put the issue on the table straight away and made it a national imagination and national dialogue. I think I fulfilled my role as a citizen of the city. As a, because if I had not joined then, I could have regretted later that that time, while I speak a lot on television, etc., when the challenge came, you you chickened out. Who got you in into that movement? Was it Anna uh, Hazari? Anna, Anna's entry. Okay. Yeah, it was Anna. Anna, and there were many other people joined in at that time. Mm. So Anna was the main uh, force because Anna stood for like the, uh, the Gan modern Gandhian. You know, yeah. he's, uh, that's how he emitted that. For me, it is uh, Anna's presence which made it so noble. But then what happened then? It was turning political. It started it, uh, over a period when it became so beautiful, so widespread. Huh. Uh, the intentions kept started to change. But without political, um, you know, muscle, should I say, or without a political direction, could uh, the India Against Corruption have achieved more? Like, would was the oh, we could have remained a vigilant, uh, uh, a, a fourth pillar of the government, had we not gone political. We could have remained. That's how we were envisaging okay. that we'd remain an independent, non-political force which would speak up of corruption anywhere. Hmm. Not aligned. That's how we we were envisioning that this will remain an uh, independent citizen's voice, which will talk about corruption or illegality anywhere. So that means it's a citizen's voice, hmm. which continues to be together. That's it. That's what we. That was the vision at that time. So Anna also believed in that vision. Anna, Anna believed in that. Anna would have stayed on to become a citizen's voice had we remained a citizen's voice. Well, so Santosh Hek, Mr. Santosh Hegde also would have remained in the in the group had we remained a citizen's voice. So what you're telling me is that more people wanted it to be apolitical. Yes, yes, that's what every the whole everything was considered uh, trusted and believed that it remain apolitical. Then why wasn't it this wing stronger as compared to the people who wanted to make it political? Uh, it was swung away. It was completely swung away. And uh, Anna walked away. Hmm. Anna bad, uh, so without Anna, there's no movement. But you aren't the kind who walks away. And if, if you walk away, it's out of... It, uh, <laughs> I've seen you walking not away. Not acceptance. It was not acceptance. It was not acceptance. 
it was uh, for me that was not acceptable a we stood up for an independent voice to become a citizen's voice against corruption and that's how when it was now going to be used for a purpose and it was being hijacked away uh, uh, abandoning anna it was a different issue but didn't you see the signs of it being political? when the signs had come that's how the cracks cracking had come and that's where the distances started to happen and then you supported uh, mr modi in 2015 i think if i'm not mistaken you endorsed him openly yeah. and uh, you supported him and then uh, mr jaitley thought that you would be perfect as uh, chief minister of delhi when somewhere in that campaign one could see that your heart was not in it that you you just uh, felt that this is not it when was that moment because that was not me even when mr jaitley asked me suggested that i do uh, consider this it was on one very uh, soft point saying kiran you are belonging to delhi it's your responsibility to now serve delhi but i said sir i don't know i i'm not oriented towards electoral politics i've no transaction in my mind i transform things but i don't transact i don't ask maine ye aapke liye kiya to mere aap liye aap ne kiya so sir he says you leave politics to us you fight the election as a delhiite and you administer the agreement between me and mr jaitley was very clear i would serve as administration and uh, administer and the other things so a agreement was i will not offer a penny i will not raise a penny so i no money give and take anybody came for anything said go to the headquarters so my clear was i've got nothing to do with political money and i've got nothing to do with politics i will serve i was administer which was my strength hmm. so he said yes you take care of this we'll take it that was the agreement and that you wouldn't attack uh, mr kejriwal and the amat that Mabada. why should i uh, that why should i see i have to say i have to say many times and they say would you give this free would you give this free i said no i will look at the budget and see if the budget prevents i never said yes you don't believe in freebies no i look at the budget if i made a budget and it's needed and i can raise the money i can budget why not if i can budget but i won't change the heads to i won't do it as a pre, i won't do it to lure i you need it i'll give it to you I, you need it i'll give it to you but i have to budget it i have to earn it and i've got to let the people know you also have to contribute so i think that was my nature so i was very upfront even when the nali saaf karoge se nahi karwaungi zarur nali saaf main nahi karungi main karwa dungi so but no no wo to pehle hi karte the admission free kara doge अपॉइंटमेंट फ्री करा दोगे से नहीं स्कूल के रूल्स होंगे तो मैं एडमिशन दिला दूंगी अपॉइंटमेंट होगी तो स्कूल के अपॉइंटमेंट के रूल्स के अनुसार दे वॉज नो फ्री नो ब्लैंकेट से हाँ मैं करा दूंगी मैं ये एडमिशन भी करा दूंगी अपॉइंटमेंट भी करा दूंगी ये भी मुफ्त दे दूंगी नहीं बजट होगा तो मिलेगा और रूल्स होगा तो मिलेगा वो दे रियलाइज ये तो कुछ नहीं मिलेगा इससे सो डिंट द बीजेपी टेल यू दैट एटलीस्ट बोलने के लिए बोल दो Nirmala Sita Raman was uh, handling my huh. she was so nice ek pari aaya ki kiran ko na kitchen mein belne ke liye jao video karo kiran is in the uh, in her kitchen and rolling the rotis so they said ma'am uh, it is desired that you do this i said forget it forget it i'll not give you anything but i don't do i get it done huh? huh. pehle to main ek hi khati hu aur wo bhi I get it done, but I do something else every day. I save this time. I get a little bit of money, fortunately. So, and I told Nir- Nirmala. I said, Nirmala, this is what they are saying. He says, No, no, ma'am, you won't do it. Okay. No, ma'am, you won't do it. This is not you. So he was actually co- uh, coordinating so beautifully. She was respecting my authenticity. So I was just b- remaining who I was. Hmm. So for me, it was not saying lure of this position. it was the responsibility of the position and uske baad you said you bid goodbye but that was it that was the agreement moved on you moved on you would not you would not like to get into electoral politics ever it's not my nature electoral as i said it's not my nature 
I'm not. I'm very good in. Uh, if you got a constitution, you got the law, you got the rule, you got the manpower, you got the budget, and I, you have got the responsibility. I'll get it done. Hmm. But not say, okay, I do this for you now. You do this for me. So tell me of all the tenures that you have done from. from crimes uh, preventing crime against women in uh, in west delhi to traffic to um, to your jail stint which is the one that you enjoyed the most or you felt that you you managed to make a lot of difference left in governor pondicherry yes okay it was first of all almost nearing 5 years there was no tenure which i did for such long time hmm. all others were very short though we made modifications even in all these including 2 years only tihar but you still remember it yeah. only 2 years but uh, here i lasted 4 years and almost 9 months and it was so fulfilling every day but i tell you i gave it all there was no saturday there was no sunday there was no night or day it was so fulfilling hmm. that and it was so rewarding and i could see people benefiting completely happy uh, and very grateful and very cooperative bahut acha tha i think it was most fulfilling for me also because i went to it with maximum experience also ma'am you've met with so many prime ministers uh, including indira gandhi and uh, with uh, rajiv gandhi can you tell us a little bit about your experiences your interactions with prime ministers i find the current prime minister highly result oriented hmm. highly professional totally matter of fact kaam ki baat karo और काम करना है तो क्या चाहिए वो बता दो सो ही इज वेरी मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट वेरी प्रोफेशनल वेरी टारगेट ओरिएंटेड वेरी मेजर्ड एंड हैज नो फेवर्स टू गिव नो फेवर्स टू ऑफर ही इज अ वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रोफेशनल ऑथेंटिक लीडर ही इज अ टोटली ही इज अ मिशनरी एट वर्क आई फाइंड हिम टोटली मिशनरी एट वर्क ही इज अ मिशन वी लुक फॉर अ ट्रूली करम योगे he's truly a karm you may agree with this certain may we find people distract but he's a truly karm yogi and he's home grown karm yogi what does that mean means he's he's bred as a, a karm yogi okay he started as a karm yogi and he's been groomed as a karm yogi i think the the organization has actually groomed a leader very rare of its kind he started uh, uh, being the serving understanding learning reading spirituality ethics geography traveling all over the country understanding organizational skills he's a home grown organizational person that's why he's very good in all these aspects because he's spent all his life learning these ropes you don't have any others learning the ropes from elementary when he started to market with his father he was learning public relations he was learning communications Hmm. He's learning marketing. How does he sell the tea? Yeah, the tea. How does he sell his tea? Yeah, and he was also sensing how people buy. Why would they buy? And he's also stretching beyond. And then he's combining uh, spirit. He's also gone into the Himalayas to. Uh, so he's basically a missionary. Hmm. He's a sannyasi in this dress. So to serve this country um, of a hundred pl- billion plus. uh one needs that kind of zeal isn't it I oh, 100% mean. we are very, to my mind without being uh, adulating i think we needed a man like them in the kind of situations we cross through mm-hmm. we needed a man like him and i can tell you if india ha- can continue with this for the next 5 years you know what i had nothing to do with this i used to look at my fate line uh I used to like his speeches when he was making the speeches, and I had no inclinations for either. I didn't know what was coming. I used to say, uh, I used to look at my fate line because India was no, going through huge corruption at that time, and India now needed a shift. We needed integrity. Hmm. Who leader comes doesn't matter, but honest leadership, right? I used to look at my fate line, saying, "Is as an Indian, is my fate line going to be deeper as an Indian that India moves towards?" a whole trajectory of growth and uh, 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 makes an impact internationally because i was traveling overseas and i was seeing what was happening so if my fate line is deeper india will be well led hmm. without knowing any time the leader will come connect with me somehow and i used to tweet also i used to like his speeches and i used to tweet without being political or non political because for me i was a citizen who was sensitive to issues 
I used to do that. Now I used to say, if my fate light, I think we, India has gained tremendously last. I've just come back from overseas. Every Indian is very proud of being an Indian overseas today. Indians are wealthier outside. They're looking to serve India. If they had the voting rights, I tell you, I, they would have loved it. Mm. So, uh, you know, uh, in spite of the challenges that India faces today, you, you, you are optimistic about the future of this country. If it continues, it has a continuity and will lead. Mm. It needs a very important continuity of huge infrastructure developments which we made, investments which we made, policies which we made. We need continuity and growth. And we need to turn around this bureaucracy to become karmiogis. If we can turn around, which I'm sure he will, and his team will, he makes a great team. If he does that, and each karmiogi is out on the streets and be a real self-driven, self-walking, self-driven. If every bureaucrat, whatever the responsibility, is karmiogi, walking the streets, smelling, feeling, hearing, seeing, correcting, hands-on, even for hour a day, India would be different in the next four or five years. India has it all. India has the potential. India is no more poor. India is rich. Rich in manpower. Rich in human resource. Real, rich in demographic dividend. We only have to build on that and let it be, have the self-confidence that uh, you can, India can be the best. Spiritually so powerful. Look, India is being looked up to, even spiritually today. Right. On that very optimistic note, ma'am, uh, thank you so much for coming here and giving us uh, advice, hope and uh, telling parents and society what to do to keep our public places and our homes safer. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, thank you, Smith. It's been a nice long one, but I hope this didn't irritate you too. No, no, not <laughs> at all. The fact that I'm most honored that in spite of this, you just continued undeterred. Oh, that is okay. For these are little minor matters. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks. That was my conversation with iconic police officer Kiran Bedi. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for writing and uh, writing in about your comments and suggestions on who to invite to this podcast and what issues we should touch. We certainly will keep it in mind when we invite guests in the near future. Namaste. Jai Hind.